How Compliance Hotlines Can Save You Money by Paul Weidenfeld An essential element of all compliance plans is developing and promoting effective lines of communication. In support of that element, Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General has been urging providers to adopt anonymous hotlines since 1998. CMS, on the other hand, requires that fee-for-service contractors, by its 2005 guidance, and managed care and prescription drug contractors, through manual provisions, have, quote, mechanisms that permits anonymous reporting. But many providers, while complying, view hotlines with suspicion. They fear that a successful hotline might incentivize whistleblowers and ultimately result in additional risk and cost to their organization. Though understandable, this fear is misplaced. Properly implemented and supported, hotlines provide valuable support to compliance plans and overall risk management programs. Rather than increasing risk and costing money, hotlines demonstrably decrease risk and save money. Here's how. Tips are the most common means of detecting fraud. Fraud accounts for an estimated 10% of healthcare spending, almost $1 billion in 2013. The best way to reduce fraud's impact is through early detection and quick resolution. According to a recent report on occupational fraud by the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners, tips are easily the most common means of detecting fraud. It found that 40% of all cases were detected by a tip, more than twice the rate of any other detection method. And, as the percentage of detections by tip increases, detection by other external means decreases. The importance of hotlines in generating tips. The ACFE report referred to above also looked at the importance of hotlines on generating tips and it found that companies with hotlines discovered fraud through tips 51% of the time as compared to 33% for companies that didn't have a hotline. Not surprisingly, the companies without hotlines also had higher rates of detection through other means, such as external audits and law enforcement. Several factors are cited for the disparity, but the principal reason is the anonymity and confidentiality afforded by hotlines. Indeed, it was reported that 60% of all employee tips are anonymous. Why detection by tip is important in addition to being the most common means, tips are the most cost-effective way of detecting fraud by external means. Several factors contribute to this, but the report found a specific difference in results for frauds detected by tips as compared to any other external detection method. For example, the median duration and cost of a fraud discovered by tip was 18 months and $150,000 whereas fraud detected by external audit or by accident lasted at least a year longer and cost over twice as much to resolve. Matters detected by law enforcement, a worst-case scenario, last 30 months and cost $1,250,000. Hotlines don't create additional problems. It is unrealistic to think that issues identified through a hotline would have fixed themselves and gone away, or perhaps never have been found. More likely, the problem would continue unabated until it was discovered by accident or it was picked up by an audit, hopefully an internal one, or until an employee who would have reported it lost faith in the organization's ability to deal with the problem and aired his concerns outside the organization, perhaps to law enforcement, perhaps to a lawyer, or maybe to both. Regardless, once a problem reaches that point, it is outside the control of the organization. Thus, any resolution will be a long time coming and expensive when it gets there. Conclusion Hotlines save organizations money. By increasing the number of tips, organizations can learn about more problems. This gives them the ability to respond to them sooner and fix them faster. Therefore, small problems won't become big ones, and big problems can be managed before they become disasters.